All right, boys, today the plan is pretty freaking simple. We're going to be ranking all the new Pokemon that came in the Tilmas DLC. That being the four Agrippon forms. We've got Sinistra, we've got Pheasant Dippity, Monkey Dory, Okie Dokie, and Ursaluna Blood Moon form. Let's jump into it. All right, so to start things off here, we have the uh, the Teal Mask version of Ogre Porn here. Now, this one is definitely the most interesting of the group, simply because it is the only one that can actually hold an item. It, it's basically it's the only one not locked into, you know, um, just holding its mask, which has its benefits, and, you know, and it has his, um, you know, I guess technically some negatives. But anyway, we'll quickly jump into that. So what does this one do? Unfortunately, this form is also locked into Terra Grass. It has the fight, which is a, you know, pretty good ability, let's be honest, really good to intimidate, um, especially for, for a physical attacker like this. You know, you love getting that stat boost. Um, but the real good thing, I guess, the uh, the Teal Mask version of Ogrebon has here is it can hold an item, right? And there's a lot of different ones you can go for. Um, there are things like Miracle Seed, which is something I've been running. Um, you can also get Focus Sash, I think is pretty popular. I've seen things like Life Orb as well. Um, I've even seen people running like Bulky Rocky Helmet, which I do think is also like a really, really good set. Um, but for the purpose of this, I like Miracle Seeds. We'll stick with that. Um, in terms of moves, Ivy Cudgel is like obviously always like an absolute must have on this mod. Same with Spiky Shield, right? Unless, of course, you're running like Choice Band. I actually do think Banded Ogre Pawn could be interesting, um, especially too, because again, like it's attacks that can't be lowered. Um, so yeah, definitely um, a possibility there. But Ivy Cudgel, Spiky Shield are basically going to be on every single set you run. Um, this mod is also a huge fan of Stomping Tantrum. Stomping Tantrum helps it hit things like Fire Types and the Steel Types that uh, do resist its, um, its Ivy Cudgel, which is a Grass type move on this one. Uh, and then finally, your last slot really comes down to what you want there. This one has like a lot of great uh, utility. Um, it has Follow Me. Obviously, we see Focus Energy as well there, which is like really, really good for setup um, sets. Also has access to Swords Nets. So a lot of really, really cool things um, this has. But personally, I have actually been running a lot of Rock Tomb. Basically, the reason I've been running Rock Tomb is I think Flying Types are incredibly good right now. Um, most teams tend to at least have one or two. And I think just having a way to, you know, hit something like, say, a Tornadus, for example, for super effective damage is very, very important. Especially too, because I think um, like a Jolly Max set, uh, does roughly 50% to bulky tornadoes, I think, off memory. So, uh, yeah, it, it's a really good move to have there. And then again, this mod, like, if you want to play it like support, you have things like uh, sub seed. It, it just has a lot of great utility. Now, in saying that, a lot of people do, like, I, I've seen a lot of people argue that this is arguably the best. I, at first, thought it was in contention for the best one. Um, I do think it has been replaced, and I don't think it is the best. And as good as I think it is, the metagame is still very young, um, and the metagame is kind of adapting to it. Um, as I said, I've seen a lot of, you know, for example, um, I've seen a lot of flying types running around. There's like a big pickup in fire types as well, uh, which obviously, you know, fire is already a pretty, uh, a pretty good type. So um, for now, I'm going to put it right in AT. I definitely think it is one of the better forms, but I do not think it is the best. Next one here is the stone form though. So the stone form one is another really interesting one, right? So if we take a look at the stone form, what it really has going for it is the fact that it's a, a rock type that has arguably the best rock move we've ever had, right? So um, also, a fun fact here as well, for those of you who don't know, the three mask forms, they actually get a boost. So if we click here, we'll see, um, basically, all of its attacks get a 1.2 times its power boost um, due to the fact that they're holding the mask. Basically, it's a way to compensate for them not having an item or like um, the access to different items. So this actually becomes a base 120 power rock move as well, because this uh, this move's type also depends on the form in which it is. Um, and being that this is a rock type, it does get the other, uh, basically a, it's, a, it's essentially a 100% accurate stone edge, which is Pretty freaking nutty if you ask me, especially when you pair it with something like Terra Rock. Um, I do think though this mod's biggest issue is that Terra Rock is not a good Terra type. Um, I don't I, like outside of the occasional random Terra Rock. I don't think we've ever really seen Terra Rock be common at all. Um, obviously Spiky Shield's pretty good on this mod. Um, I think it is probably like one of the better Follow Me users. Um, and then again, on this, you probably really want the, the Grass Stab, right? Because obviously your Ivy Cudger becomes a Rock-type. Um, so then, you know, it has access to things like Woodhammer. Um, I also didn't touch on it with the other Ogre Board as well, but it has things like Grassy Glide. Um, Horn Leech is also like another really good option as well, I think, for like the more bulky support sets. Um, so I would say something like this is the way to go. Um, I just think like this one's biggest issue is like Rock is just average. Like Grass Rock's decent, but Terra Rock is bad. You don't ever want to Terra this and... Don't get me wrong, Sto Sturdy's like a good ability, um, but like you're probably getting carried by like Oshifu anyway, and at that point you don't care about it because you're getting hit three times. Uh, yeah, like look, this one's good. Don't get me wrong, this one's definitely good. I feel like I'm downplaying it, um, but I'm, I'm going to say it is probably the worst of the three. Part of me wants to put it B tier. Yeah, I don't think it's as good as the grass form, um, and I feel like it's weird to put them in the same tier. So I'm going to say it's B tier for now. But now we get into some absolute heat here with the fire type. Now, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I kind of feel like I have a personal bias towards this now, which does suck. I actually thought I was going to like the um the water one the most. 
Uh, but I do think Ogre Pawn here, the Hearth Flame Mask, is the best one. So, first of all, it has Mold Breaker. What does this mean? Uh, it means Heatran is not a safe switch into this mod. Basically, you have a high, you know, you have a high crit um, Flare Blitz here with no recoil. 120 damage. Heatran cannot swap into it. Most Heatrans off memory take, it's like roughly 70 to 80% somewhere in that ballpark. So yeah, it does a lot of damage to Heatran. Mold Break is just an incredible move for, like for the Flash Fire Mons out there. Um, it's also like a huge fan of just like running Woodhammer because again, right? When you have this, uh, this but like the the power boost here, your Woodhammer all of a sudden becomes I think it's 145 base damage, which is actually pretty freaking insane. Um, it is also like a really good grassy glide one as well. Um, I do think the fire and water ones pair better with Rillaboom than the other two do. That being the rock and the the uh, base one. So I do think this mod is just yeah, like it it's offensively having that fire typing does feel in my opinion at least the best out of the group um and then not to mention i think this one is also absolutely insane on um on sun teams I, I ran a sun team um if you haven't seen it by the way go check it out uh you know hit the subscribe button while you're there i think like two days ago at least at the time of recording this i put out a video with like tornadoes to use sun uh, and we had ogre fire on it uh, and yeah it's an absolute menace man this mon is really really freaking good that that fire move is insane um again it, it's basically like a stab flare blitz of 120 base like power with zero re like drawback it's absolutely nuts it's also really fast 110 base speed is like really really good especially like in a team with like tornado sun um you're out spitting a lot of things in tailwind and yeah like sun just like gives this thing an absolute massive boost um yeah i'm pretty confident to say this thing's sta i think it's gonna be one of the best pokemon in the format now finally the water one now the water one um it's interesting to the rest of them for a couple different reasons and i think it's because it is definitely the best support of the group it's defensive typing here in water grass is like really really good um especially you know uh with like things like follow me plus water absorb unfortunately i do think water absorb is like a pretty average ability as is because like you already 4x re resist the water um the water move so like you know redirecting an urshifu doesn't matter if it was only going to do like 15 percent anyway but i'm sure there will be some cases where you know like forcing them to click cc is obviously really really important um i also actually didn't mention as well this guy gets a defense boost when he terrors which again i don't think is actually that great because uh again urshifu like is going to crit you through it um this guy gets an attack boost which is why he's like so insane in sun i do apologize i feel like i can't believe i forgot to say that uh, but this guy here gets a special defense boost. And I think this Spadef boost is actually really good because I think this Mon is absolutely insane into Flutterfish. Uh, basically, with Ivy Cudgel um, and like Terra here, you can take anything that those two throw at you and then you can one-shot either one of them with Ivy Cudgel, which I do think is pretty, pretty important. Um, I didn't really touch on it uh, with the other Mons, but I tend to run just like 86 Adamant on this thing and it like one-shots a lot of the Mons you need to. Um, Woodhammer is obviously like another great option if you want damage. Um, I mentioned earlier that on the support sets, I do like Horn Leech uh, and then Spiky Shield is also really, really good. Uh, but yeah, look, this mod, I think it has probably the second best Terra. Uh, actually, I also didn't touch on it with this one. This guy gets a speed boost as well, um, which is really freaking good. Actually, for like at speeding and one shot and things like Flutter Main. Um, but yeah, I do think that it's probably the second best Terra. I would say Terra Water and Terra Grass are like neck and neck in terms of like their usefulness. Because I think the speed boost on the Teal Mask is like really, really important. But the Spadef boost plus like Terra Water just being like such a good defensive typing as it is, is like insane. Um, if it wasn't for fire getting the, the you know the plus attack i think it would probably be the best one uh but yeah i do think terrible on this thing's insane i think it's a great support i think it puts out a lot of you know off offensive um how am i trying to say this as a support mod it puts out a lot of damage like it kind of really reminds me of something like say for example um mass hold but like not as one dimensional um and yeah i i think i would argue this one's definitely a tier i don't think it's s tier but maybe it's just because i haven't found the right team for it yet um i do think it probably edges out the teal last that was the second best form just because i think Again, as an offensive on this, it's still really good. I ran this thing in rain, um, and to me, it just feels like, you know, like Urshifu Rapid Strike. I've also ran it next to things like um, the, the Single Strike version, and it's like, it kind of feels like sometimes I have like two Urshifus if this mon gets off. Um, and because of that, I think its utility is a little higher than the two masks, and because of that, I'm going to say it's slightly better, and it is in the A tier. Now, Sinister. Um, this one, for me, is potentially a bit of a hot take. So... For those of you who don't know, I feel like Sinister has been up and down. I've seen people say it's like really, really good. I've seen other people say it's not that amazing. Um, I think this thing is unbelievably good. There's a lot of freaking sets you could run on this, right? There's like, uh, for example, the, the Rocky Helmet Terra Fairy set was really good. Because um, for those of you who don't know, it has Rage Powder. So yeah, Rocky Helmet Terra Fairy, really good. Um, you basically hard wall the three Urshifu forms. Um, you can't be CC'd. Uh, you eat the um, the sucker punch. Sorry, not sucker punch. What is it? You eat the da, 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 rapid strikes. So, for example, if you're up against the Urshifu rapid strike, um, he has to uh, go for the surging strikes because he can't CC you. 
Uh, and the other guy, obviously, he wants to go for the dark move, and because of that, Terra Fairy is unbelievable. Um, not to mention, Terra Fairy with redirection is just fantastic. So I do think this one, as a, uh, a defensive pivot, and like, you know, obviously hospitality too, I didn't even mention that. As a defensive pivot, it's fantastic. I've won so many games, because like, my opponent will deal 50% to one of my mons. I then swap this in, so all of a sudden it has 75 health. Bang, knocks me down to a quarter and I just KO him and win the game. Unbelievable. Uh, Stats-wise, it's fantastic. It hits so hard for a support one that, like, you don't even have to invest in this thing to deal damage. Um, its defense stats are really good. Its HP and Spadef are pretty average. Same with its speed, but you can use it in a lot of ways, right? I personally think max HP is, like, always best on this mon. Um, and then from there, it just depends. Do you want to, like, you know, do you want to go Sweeper? Um, do you want to make sure your Spadef's good? There's a lot of things this mon can do, right? Um, I should probably jump into it. Like, it has Calm Mind, right? It has Nasty Plot. It has Iron Defense, like right there just like three potential setup moves which are like kind of nutty making just like very hard to deal with um not to mention did i uh did i also say this one gets trick room so it's like a trick room abuser uh obviously like trick room rage powder makes it like a really really good support its signature move matcha gotcha is absolutely insane it's a spread move with 80 base power 90 percent accuracy that has a 20 percent chance to burn the opponents oh and what's that it also uh, recovers 50 percent of the damage dealt and that affects both mons i've had situations where i'll be like 30 percent get this off and all of a sudden, I'm back to full. It's absolutely insane. Um, speaking of getting your HP back as well, this thing gets Strength Sap. Unbelievable. Um, it also gets things like Shadow Ball. Like, Stab Shadow Ball is always good. Hex pairs incredibly well with Matcha Gotcha. Uh, and not to mention, um, you know, what's another move that are kind of burnt? Scald. And I honestly think this one, like, if you're playing, like, an offensive set, Terra Water is, like, arguably your best Terra anyway. Um, so, something like this is, like, absolutely insane. Uh, you would probably drop, like, Matcha Gotcha. Oh, sorry, you'd, you'd probably drop trick room or hex here for like Karl minor plot uh but yeah this one dude it does so much there's so many different sets it can run like it's a fantastic support it's a great offensive one it's a great trick room setter like i've paired this one up with iron hands it's unbelievable i think this is an s tier mon uh which is absolutely crazy to say that i think this is you know potentially the second best pokemon uh that has come out in this game next one my guy pheasant shippity um honestly i feel like i i, I kind of feel like i slept on pheasant dippity a lot um I kind of gave this mod a lot of praise, and I think it was, like, rightfully so. I do think Pheasantipity is a bit better than I gave it credit for in the past, but unfortunately, I kind of just, like, tested it more and more, and it just, it doesn't feel all that hot, right? Pheasantipity, decent mod, don't get me wrong, it's decent. I just think it is probably too late for this mod to have any real use. Technician is cool. Um, I've seen people talk about, like, Choice Scarf with Double Kick, and you just, like, at speed and one shot, uh, what's his name, Chen Pao, which is pretty interesting. Um, there are also things like, uh, talk so that's with, like, obviously, Technician. Um, I've also heard people saying, I think, does it also get, like, Tail Slap? Yeah, so, like, Tail Slap and Double Kick also, like, kind of allow you to potentially get the Toxic Chains off as well, which is kind of interesting. Um, my preferred way to play this, though, is, like, always Icy Wind plus Dazzling Gleam. It's just two great spread moves that, you know, when paired up with Toxic Chain, just has a great chance of, obviously, you know, spreading out the poison, which I do think is pretty damn important. Um, I personally prefer running this, like, bulkier. I've ran things like Citrus, and then you slap, like, Tailwind on this thing. My biggest issue with Tailwind is, like, unless it, your team's, like, dedicated speed control mod with, like, Tailwind plus Icy Wind, it does feel a little weird clicking it sometimes over things like Dazzling Gleam. Uh, it also has access to things like Roost as well, so it has a decent move pool, but, like, nothing insane, and sadly, its offensive stats let it down. Like, its bulk's decent. Unfortunately, its physical bulk's, like, pretty average. Um, 99 speed's good, but it's, like, it's not really good enough. You can't draw R Force to run this thing, like, timid max speed. Um, and then at that point, like, with Icy Tailwind, like, obviously, you can get speed control, you know, spread the poisons. Like, it, look, overall, I think it's a decent mod. I'm going to say it's BT. I put it here for a reason. I think it's not as good as any of the Ogre Pawn forms, um, but definitely, like, a decent mod. Then we have Monkey Dory. Um, look, I'm not going to lie. Definitely the mod I'm the most disappointed with. Uh, if anyone didn't see the quote-unquote leaks that, like, dropped, like, a week before this was going to come out, um, we thought this thing was going to have 600 base stats. We thought it was going to have Fake Out. We thought it was going to have Perish Trap because uh, it was going to have Shadow Tag, all that good stuff. I was so excited for this mod. Um, and I kind of feel like I just, I got let down. It's definitely, it's still my favorite design of these mods, but if you have a look, its physical bulk is pitiful. 130 special attacks are really good. You know, 80 HP and 90 per death is pretty decent. 106 speed's like also pretty solid. Um, this mod also has access to Fake Out. Uh, so it's not bad. Fake Out, Toxic Change, plus like, you know, say like, for example, Sludge Bomb and Psychic seems pretty good, right? It seems pretty good. Uh, this mod's biggest issue is it literally has a useless ability in VGC. Um, you know, we play in an open sheet format, so Frisk is just bad. You, you're basically run, always forced to run this. Uh, this mod's bulk is also, like, so bad that, like, if you're not running, like, Scarf, for example, I think you just, like, have to run Focus Sash. Um, it's, again, it's so, like, physically frail that Protect is, like, almost a must on this mod. But, like, it also has, like, a relatively fast parting shot, so you kind of want to run that. 
Um, and again, it's typing, like being a psychic type just means like Roaring Moon, for example, who is like on the rise right now, is just going to one-shot you with knockoff. Uh, you're always dead to like sucker punches. Um, Fluttermane's running away with Shadow Balls. Like there's so much going against this one right now that like, I think it has potential. I'm sure if someone really like puts in the time, they can make this thing work. Uh, but I do think it is the worst of the mods, unfortunately, that we got in uh, the Teal Mask. I'm going to put it in the C tier. Next up, the dog, Big Okie Dogi. Um, Okie Dogi is an interesting one, right? So it actually has like, I think the best stat spread of the group, right? It's HP stat at 88 is decent. I believe they're all 88 HP, right? Yeah, they're all 88 HP. 88 is decent, very solid. 128 attack is definitely really good, um, especially when you pair it with its ability guard dog. Basically, this one could not be intimidated, which does mean it is like, you know, it's really good, right? That It basically keeps your, you know, your attack stat pretty safe there. Um, 115 defense is also really good. This mon's physical block is really, really good. Um, special attack is low, which is great. Min maxing the mon. Um, 86 special defense, very solid. 80 speed is decent, right? Especially for mon like this. Um, I think if this mon had fake out, it would be absolutely, I don't want to say busted, but it would be a lot better than it is. Um, but I do think this mon with like assault vest, for example, is really good. Um, I have also seen choice scarf sets as well do a lot of damage because like scarf plus guard dog is really good. Um, it has, you know, pretty good stab moves. They're like Drain Punch and there's, you know, Poison Jab if you want to play like a bit more safe. It also has access to things like Close Combat and Gunk Shot as well if you want to play a bit more aggressive. Um, I believe it gets High Horsepower too. Yeah, so it has High Horsepower as well for covering, you know, um, opposing like really Poison types, which is like a type you can't hit. Um, I think it also gets Snarl. Yeah, it gets Snarl as well. So like something like that on an AV set could like be pretty decent. And again, like this one stats, it, it's just started really, really well, right? You can go like, you know, Max there. Uh, you know, go like max max and like literally that's like almost just fine, right? Uh, that is like really really solid If you want to play it on tailwind as well Like the cool thing is because it's speeds like decent enough You only really have to run 52 speed if you want to play it on tailwind team Um, it's typing pretty decent fighting and poison covers a lot Um, I think this one's like biggest issue really is Like I think if it could hit Fluttermain for super effective with pjab it'd be a lot better Um, but unfortunately like because it has the ghost typing it resists it Uh, it makes it a little worse, but I do think this one is definitely the best of these three um, but unfortunately, I don't really think I can say it's better than Stone Mask Form. Like, may maybe it's better than Stone Mask Form. Like, it'll probably see more play than Stone Mask Form. But the issue with that is Stone Mask Form is, like, you can't just... Like, the way I see it is, why would I play Stone when I could play, like, any of the other three? Whereas, like, Okie Dogie's, like, why would I play this when I could play, like, a Rillaboom or something, right? Um, but yeah, like, look, it has a decent move pool. I'm pretty sure it even gets things like Parting Shot, right? No, I lied to you. It doesn't get Parting Shot. Um, I feel like it has like some good status moves that I'm like forgetting right now. Oh, it has bulk up. I forgot, of course. It has bulk up. It has torn as well. Torn's like really good to have on like a mid-speed mod like this. It's really good into obviously, you know, things like um Trick Room, which is nice. Um, I have actually also tested it as a bulky howl mon. Um, it didn't work out really well, but it's definitely an option, right? If you like you kind of just like get this in, you howl it up next to like a uh what what am I thinking of? Rillaboom, uh Urshifu, you know, something along those lines, right? Chien Pao. Um, yeah, a lot of mods that you could definitely pair this with. Um, have I convinced myself? Nah, it, it's hard, right? Because like you could almost argue it's an A tier mod because I think it does have a lot of uses. It's just hard to, for me to say it's better than stone form, and it's hard for me to put stone form on you know the same tier as the grass and the uh, the water forms. All right, and then finally, Blood Moon Ursa Luna. Blood Moon Ursa Luna is a new form of Ursa Luna for those of you who do not know. Um, if we have a quick look here before I actually click into it, we can see its base stats are higher than Blood Moon, sorry, than regular Ursa Lunas. Unfortunately, they were not as kind to it with the min-maxing. Uh, HP is lower. Physical defense is higher. Special attack is obviously clearly way higher here. Um, obviously, you know, in turn, though, it loses a lot of attack. Um, special defense is quite a bit worse, and speed is slightly better. This mon functions relatively similar, um, but also quite different. So its ability in mind's eye is really cool because it allows you to hit Ghost and... Uh, yeah, Ghost Up, sorry, with fighting and normal moves, which I do think is really, really good. Um, also, like, a really important thing that this mod has over Ursa Luna is that Ursa Luna is kind of locked into, like, Flame Orb. That's all we ever saw Ursa Luna run. Uh, whereas Blood Moon, Ursa Luna can run a lot of different things, right? So it has access to things like Throat Spray with Hyper Voice. Um, sorry, I feel like I started that there. Throat Spray with Hyper Voice, which is a great combo, giving you plus one special attack. And when you have a special attack stat, that is this monstrously high. Um, obviously, you know, that does uh, does quite a bit. Um, also, the little bit of extra speed as well is actually kind of nice for, like, um, Tailwind teams, for example. Um, in the past, you know, I've run uh, regular Ursa Luna and Tailwind, uh, and I feel like you could definitely run something like this, or at least I would definitely run something like this, because I am not a Troop Room player. Um, also, I do think the Assault Vest on this mod is actually really, really good too, because uh, basically, you know, the way this mod kind of wants to round out is you, you kind of want Earth Power for your stab. Um, Moonblast is, like, really good, because, like, Terra, um, Terra Fairy is, like, really good on this mod. 
Terra Fairy. Uh, and then another cool move this one has before I get into like the main thing is Vacuum Wave. So it actually has a priority move, which is really, really cool. Uh, but the main reason really you'd want to run this mon here is uh, it's this little move here called Blood Moon. So it is basically a Hyper Beam without the drawback of you can't attack next turn, but you just can't use it back to back turn. So 140 base power, normal move that is special. Uh, and yeah, there is no drawback outside of the fact that you can't use it twice in a row. Um, and the great thing with this one is basically everything that resists normal is weak to ground. So, um, if you resist this, you just earth power it. Um, I've seen times where like, I've just one shot Rillabooms with this move. Granted, I don't think they were AV, um, but I do think this one is really, really cool. Um, it's that spread is really interesting. It's bulks really nice. Really this one's like biggest issue is it's spadef stat, which AV just fixes. Um, so yeah, I personally love this one. Uh, you can run it in trick room. Obviously you can run it on like balance. You can run it in tailwind. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can run it. It's a really, really cool mon. Um, as I said, Terra Fairy is cool as well. I've run Terra Ghost in the past myself. Um, I do think like this is like almost always its best move set. Um, it also has access to things like Calm Mind as well, which is pretty nice. Um, I do think like Calm Mind Protect and then probably like dropping Hyper Voice for Blood Moon is like good. So you just go like Blood Moon and then just say like Protect here. I think that is also like really decent. And then you can run like just a different item there, right? I've seen people even try like Life Orb Ursa Luna, which... I don't love, I don't like when a bulky mon's like sacrificing so much HP. Cause like, again, if you like max this thing out, like each life herb tick is like taking 22 damage, which is, that's a lot of damage. You don't really want to take that. Um, but yeah, I guess in hindsight, I'm going to say, not hi in hindsight, uh, in conclusion, I'm going to say Blood Moon Ursa Luna is an A tier mon. Um, if I'm being honest, you could order this A tier in any order. I'm just going to leave it here just because I think it looks prettier having all the Ogre Pawns together. Uh, but you could definitely argue with me that this is the best of them. You could even argue that this is potentially S tier. Um, I don't want to say it's on the level of S tier because I don't think it's as offensively good as the Fire version of Ogre Pawn. Uh, and I also think that the you know the utility from Sinister here is just way too high. But these three A tier mons, you could honestly put any of them in S tier and I would not complain. Uh, but yeah, Blood Moon, Ursula, a really, really cool mon. Anyway, guys, that is it for my ranking of all the new Pokemon. Let me know down below what you think. You know, tell me if you think I got anything right. Tell me if you think I got anything wrong. Tell me what kind of tech you've been running these mods onto, because I'm really interested, basically, just to see how everyone is also, like, playing with these mods. Um, yeah, so that's cool. And if you could, obviously, guys, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It means the world to me. And, uh, yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace.